And at this point, I actually want to take the opportunity to discuss some differences between these two sources of assets, between the liabilities and the equity. Not going to get too much into detail, but I think just knowing some general differences between these two categories on this right side of the balance sheet is going to help you better understand what is going on once we go further and further into more detail. So starting with liabilities, notice we have this bank loan here for 5,000. So these in general are just basically loans. And as the course goes on, you're gonna see different names for these loans come up. So a popular one will be bonds. It's just a type of loan. Uh, sometimes you'll see notes, right? like note payables. That's just a type of loan. Um, and then these liabilities are also going to be split up into short-term liabilities. Stuff like accounts payable will come up and then long-term debt. Debt is another word. Right? So all of these are types of liabilities. And if you remember, what are the two biggest types of external users of financial statements? Creditors and investors. And so creditors go under this category. Okay, so people who are giving you loans for a business are called creditors. So the bank would be a creditor for this business. And with loans, what you have to do is pay interest, right? Versus equity, you don't have to pay these people interest here. So in this case, it's your own money, but sometimes there may be multiple people invested in a business. Let's say you and your friends started this ice cream shop and you put up $10,000 and they put up $10,000. Right? You guys aren't going to be charging each other interest. You're just both investors in, uh, in the company. And so that's actually the other external user. And so under equity, these are going to be the investors of the uh, company. Sometimes they'll be called uh, shareholders. Right? So if you're an investor in a company, you receive shares. So if you buy shares of a company on the stock market, you go under this category, under the equity category, right? Investors, shareholders, sometimes these are called the owners of the company. Because even though you got this bank loan for $5,000, notice how this is your own business. You own the business, right? So the people under this category equity here are called the owners of the uh, company. Sometimes they're called equity holders. And unlike the creditors under the liabilities, equity holders, shareholders, investors, they don't, uh, they don't receive interest. So going back to liabilities, um, they, the creditors are going to receive interest. So then what's the catch? Then what's the point of being an equity holder then? Isn't it just better to be... Um, a creditor then because you're going to be receiving interest and these guys aren't receiving any interest. Well, no, because creditors don't receive portion of profits. <clears throat> so if this business grows, the creditors are going to continue getting interest, but they're not going to receive any portion of the profits. They're not going to receive a piece of the company, quote unquote. While here, the equity holders, the investors, notice if we take your ice cream shop, if the ice cream shop grows, it's not like you're going to owe the bank more money. This is still going to stay at $5,000. You're still going to be paying them the interest, and then you're going to have to pay back this principal but your portion of the equity is gonna grow. Your net worth is gonna grow. So over here, equity holders receive portion 
of gains, but you also take part in the losses. So if you start losing money in the company, so let's say you have more expenses than you end up having revenue, well, that's coming out of your share. All right. And let's say that something happens, something bad happens where maybe you have to start claiming bankruptcy, where you're going to have to start selling some of the assets and then paying back these sources. The liabilities, the creditors get first dibs on assets when there's a bankruptcy. So if you think about it, just, uh, just through everyday intuition, everyday logic, if you put up $10,000 of your own money and then you take $5,000 from the bank and then you start this business and then if this business doesn't go well, okay, and let's say that this gets taken to court now, you have to pay back, who is the court going to side with? Are they going to say that you have to pay your own money back first? Or are they going to say that you have to pay the bank back first? They're going to side with the bank because this money is sort of like your own responsibility while this bank here loaned you $5,000. That's like an outside party. They loaned you the money trusting that you were going to pay it back. And so the court is going to side with the bank. They're going to tell you to sell assets and make sure that you could pay back that $5,000. So the creditors get first dibs on assets if there is a bankruptcy. Now, another difference between um, liabilities and equity, between creditors and um, equity holders, is that creditors are not involved in business decisions. Okay, so going back to this company here, if you get this $5,000 from the bank, the bank is not going to tell you how to run this ice cream shop and what to do, who to hire, etc. That's going to be up to you as the owner, right? As the owner of the, um, of the company. Now, before they give you this $5,000, they're going to look at your credit. They're going to look at maybe your business plan. They're going to see what kind of plan you have but that's all going to be up front. And then once they decide to loan you this money, they're not really going to be checking up on you. It's kind of like if you get a school loan. So before you get the school loan, the, um, the bank may look at your ability to pay it back. They may look at what your parents are making, et cetera, et cetera. But once you get the school loan, the bank isn't going to be calling you every day asking you, hey, how are you doing in school? What kind of job are you planning to get after school? Are you going to be able to pay us back, et cetera, et cetera. As long as you're making those interest payments on that loan, everything is all good. So these guys here, the creditors under liabilities, they're not involved in business decisions. While people under this category, under the equity category, they are involved in business decisions on how to run the business. Or as the companies really grow and they get really big, um, these equity holders, these owners are involved in hiring managers who are going to run the business, right? So let's just keep it, uh, let's keep it general for now. So people under the equity section, they're involved in the business decisions, how the business is going to run, while creditors are not involved. In, uh, in the business decisions. So yeah, just a couple of differences between these two categories. So biggest differences, these are liabilities are like loans, creditors, where you're going to have to pay them interest. Maybe actually here, instead of saying pay interest, these guys are receiving interest. When I said pay interest, I meant as you, the company, have to pay these guys interest but the creditors, the bank is actually going to be receiving the, uh, the interest. So they're going to be receiving interest, but they don't receive a portion of the profits. That's sort of the trade-off. And they also aren't involved in the business decisions, but if things go bad, then they get first dibs 
on these assets if there's a bankruptcy. While equity holders, they don't receive any interest like creditors do, but they receive a portion of the business if the business grows. Uh, and they also receive a portion of the losses if the business starts losing money. And uh, it's up to these guys to actually run the business and make the decisions. So you're going to be running into some scenarios where sometimes you may have to differentiate between knowing is this source of these assets going to be under liabilities? Are they creditors or are they equity holders? And sometimes it could be like the same source. So let's say, um, let's say in this example, we said that your parents gave you money. And let's say that we say that they loaned you money. And if you live in the real world, then if it's a loan, they should be charging you interest, but maybe your parents are nice and you don't, uh, you're not charged any interest. That would still be a loan. That would still go under the liability. So the parents are loaning you money. Let's say they loaned you this $5,000, whether they're charging you interest or not, you just have to make sure you pay back your parents that $5,000 after your company hopefully grows. But a question can also say that parents are giving you money, but they're, but for giving you that money, they're going to receive let's say 30% of profits of the business. If you see something like that come up, well, then they don't go under liabilities. They would go under equity holders because they're receiving a portion of those gains. Okay, so that's an example of where that same source, let's say your parents, could be either a loan, depending on how it's worded, or they can be equity holders. If you see that they're receiving a portion of the profits, then you would, um, you would categorize your parents as uh, equity holders in, uh, in the business. And a lot of times, not just in business, you can see these two differences in your personal life sometimes. So for example, uh, let's say that you're buying a house. Okay, if you buy a house, unless you buy all of it with cash, what's gonna happen is you're gonna put down a down payment. So let's say that you're buying a house, it's gonna be an asset, and let's say that it's worth $500,000. Well, let's say that you put down a down payment of 50,000, 10% of this. Well, that down payment is going to go under equity. You're going to own the house. All right, that's going to be your down payment. And then the rest you have to loan from the bank as a mortgage. And so mortgage, which is a type of loan, would go under liabilities and that would be uh, 450000 Right, so there's even times in your personal life where this can happen, right? You can have like a personal balance sheet. So you got this house as an asset, and then what was the source? How did you get this house? Well, 50,000 you put of your own money, so that's equity, you own the house, and then the rest of the money you borrowed from the bank as a mortgage, so that would be a liability. 450,000, you gotta make those monthly or bi-weekly payments, whatever uh, you and the bank organize. Now, what if you start missing these payments here on this mortgage loan? Then what's gonna happen? Let's say some kind of unfortunate incident happens where maybe you lose your job, can't make these payments anymore. Well, then there's going to be a personal bankruptcy filed. And when there's a bankruptcy, who gets dibs on this house, on the assets? The creditors, the bank would, right? So you would no longer own the house and then the bank would receive this house here, right? And make sure that their 450,000 is, uh, is paid back. So yeah, you can run into situations where you can kind of create like a personal balance sheet. You can create a balance sheet in your own personal life. But anyway, kind of uh, went off on a tangent there, but hopefully from those descriptions, you understand 
the differences between liabilities and equity between these two categories and you can know how to sort of categorize different sources of assets as either one or the other. So again, this is the balance sheet here. This is very general. Thought I'd mention that as well. We're gonna get more specific. There's gonna be multiple categories under assets, under liabilities, under equity. So we're going to get uh, in, into more detail, but again, this is just a higher level. Another thing I wanna mention before finishing off this transaction, moving on to the next one, is from the balance sheet, you can actually come up with a very popular equation. The assets, the left side of the balance sheet, always has to equal the liabilities plus the equity. Right, pretty popular equation in accounting. And again, it comes from the balance sheet. This left side has to equal this right side, the liabilities plus the equity. And we're gonna come back to this equation. We're gonna actually expand it and make it more detailed, but thought I would uh, introduce it here just because we've introduced that balance sheet.